Hey everybody, Adam Savage in my cave with a show and tell. Uh, fans, if you're watching this, you're a fan, I'm assuming, or I'm hoping, and if you have sent something to our tested mailbox, I can't thank you enough. It is daily the receiver of all sorts of wonderful goodness from you guys, and it's just warm, it warms our hearts. Um, this one came in uh, last year in November. And it comes from Victor, age 55, restless tinkerer and maker of stuff. Could be my, could be my title as well. Um, Victor, you have really compelling handwriting. Yeah. Um, Victor says, Adam, I was Christmas shopping. Oh, right, because it was November. I was Christmas shopping in my favorite thrift store and I picked up this item and I turned to my wife and I said, what the F is this thing? Immediately I knew I had to buy it and send it to you. Uh, I hope someone else didn't already get you one this year and I'm confident they didn't, that they are this year's answer to the Black & Decker snake light. Uh, anyway, thank you for everything, going all the way back to Mr. Whipple. Even then, I couldn't believe there was a nerdy kid like me on television. Ho, ho, ho. The object in question is this. Um, Victor also left the $2 price tag on it, which is like chef's kiss. Amazing. I love that. Let's take a uh, close-up. All right, so this is the object Victor sent. Um, let's see here. It is a, uh, all right, so we have a handle. We have what looks like a string guide. So for pulling a string back and guiding it somehow, that's kind of what that looks like. Um, and it looks like there's movement. Oh yeah, okay, so there is. Okay, so this appears to be some kind of All right, so I'm going to guess that th th this looks like it's a piercing end, so it goes in something. And then that is for getting the thing back out of what you've stuck it into. So it looks like you, it looks like it sticks into something and then this is used to, to pull it back out. Now, this thing is removable for some reason and includes, okay, so this thing looks like it's the holder for a spring, which holds this up. Okay, so it holds this up and this also has a spring. So in every way, the machine wants to keep this at the top of this. And then it's got this little hole up here, which leads me to believe that a string could come through here. But <clears throat> oh, and oh, yeah, woo, there's a patent. We can look it up. All right, hold on, hold on. It says patent. It says patent. So there's also a stop. This this can be adjusted so it can go to different depths. Is it for marking something? It also... Is it possible that there could be... Hang on. No, those are not regular marks that are on that. Um, I really, oh, are, I just love objects with a 
hard to understand purpose. Okay, Canada. Not, hold on, G-T-B-R-I-T, March 20th, U, uh, U States, November, Canada, November. There's no patent number on it. Could this be something like, for instance, a uh, for marking the ear of a livestock animal, like putting a tag in an ear, it makes a nice little hole. Like, you know, I would go to the uh, I would go to the ear piercer, and the cow would the farmer would come to the cow and give him a, a little, uh, you know, make him an urban primitive. Um, I this is spectacular. I, I'm really enjoying this. I think, I feel like I'm onto something with the livestock uh, marker, but it's really hard to say. Um, it is quite beautiful. It's quite beautiful. And again, the price tag, pff, just the best. This is going on uh, one of my shelves. I really dig it. Uh, and if you know what this is, please tell me. Um, yeah, we'll say it in the comments or debate it in the comments. And uh, I'm going to... I'm going to read them. Thank you guys for joining me for this show and tell. And uh, by the way, Victor, thank you so much. Uh, we are almost exactly the same age. Uh, and I really agree with you. Yeah, this is going to be the biggest Christmas present next year. Uh, thank you guys for joining me for this. I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching that video. Your support allows us to make more of this great content. If you'd like to help us on a deeper level, even head over to tested-store.com because we've got stickers. Who doesn't love stickers? Our anime-inspired tested logo in Japanese. Follow the process, not the plan. It's not a process. It's not a problem to solve, it's a process to manage other aphorisms that have come from my mouth. Um, and we have just made a full set of our demerit badges in sticker form. So you can cover your toolbox with all of your screw ups and celebrate it with other makers. Thank you guys so much. See you next time.